You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. The Earth's composition and the structure of the Earth system. Um, for starters, for the exam, there's some terminology that you want to know that will come up pretty frequently on the test. Um, and these four terms are important ones to know. Biosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. The biosphere is the portion of the Earth in which living things live, and that can include all three of the other spheres. Um, the lithosphere um, is the rock or the ground, the actual Earth. Um, the hydrosphere is all of the portions of the Earth that are covered with water, hydro meaning water, and the atmosphere, as you know, is the air. Um, and a lot of animals live in just one of those spheres, um, but a lot of animals also live in two or sometimes even three of those spheres. Um, for example, um, some animals like fish live exclusively in the hydrosphere, but other marine animals um, like marine mammals like whales or dolphins live in the hydrosphere predominantly, but they have to utilize the atmosphere to breathe, so they'll come to the surface frequently to breathe. Something like a tree um, may have its roots in the lithosphere, the earth, and may extract things like water and minerals from there, um, but it needs the atmosphere um, in order to extract carbon dioxide that's a necessary component to photosynthesis. Um, so it might use multiple spheres and live in multiple spheres. So um, things like human beings could live in all three of the spheres. We can go in the water, we spend a lot of time in the atmosphere breathing, but we also go underground sometimes in tunnels and, and things like that. So um, we could live in all three of the spheres. So the important thing to take away from this really is just understanding what these three terms mean and understanding that life, the biosphere, can exist in all three of the other spheres. Now let's look at sort of the internal part of the Earth, um, the layers that make up the Earth. And quite often there'll be questions on the exam that'll ask about what one of the layers is called. And they might describe its composition or its location and ask you to say, is it the mantle, is it the crust, is it the inner core, the outer core? So you just want to have a basic familiarity with each of these layers. Um, the inner core is the innermost part of the Earth and it's made of solid metal, um, primarily nickel and iron. The outer core is made of the same thing, basically, nickel and iron, but instead of being solid like the inner core, the outer core is liquid, so it's liquid molten metal. Um, and the, this flow of molten metal in the outer core as the Earth spins is actually what gives the Earth a magnetic field. Um, and that magnetic field is responsible for things like the aurora borealis, the northern lights, because it catches magnetic things and brings them down at the Earth's poles. Um, so the, the Earth is kind of like a big magnet. Um, outside that outer core, we have the mantle. The mantle is made of rock. Um, it's not liquid rock, but it's not exactly solid. It's more of a viscous solid. It's sort of mal a malleable solid. Um, and the crust, the thin outer layer, sort of moves on top of that mantle. Um, and the movement on top of that mantle is what creates uh, things like seismic activity, earthquakes, um, and the collision of plates as those plates shift on top of the mantle. The crust is very thin compared to the other three layers of the Earth. Um, if the Earth was an apple, the crust wouldn't be any thicker than the peel. And yet, as human beings, we have never gone deeper than the crust. Um, so our knowledge of the other layers is based on things like information that we get from radio waves and other types of waves that we pass through the Earth and can determine its composition. Um, so for the exam, you just want to know what these basic layers are, where they're located, and basically what they're made of. So if you know what we went over here on this slide, you're going to be in great shape. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.